Okay, so the other day I went to mow the lawn and my lawnmower won't start. I'm suspecting that there may be water in the carburetor and I'm hoping it's not in the fuel tank. If it is, I'll just have to drain it, clean it out, and get some more fuel. But uh, I'm getting ready to take apart this carburetor. Uh, just taking off the cap and the filter. It's right here. So I'm going to be getting this taken apart and cleaning out this carburetor and see if it starts up. Okay, so I didn't show a video of me actually trying to start the lawnmower and it not starting. I also did uh, a check where I sprayed some carburetor cleaner in the carburetor, tried to fire it up, and it started to try and fire up, but it would die off. So that's why I'm suspecting that there's water in the carburetor. So right here, there's four bolts that hold the carburetor cover on. So I just removed those pull that off and then there's three bolts that hold the cover on to the top of the motor so I'll remove those and then just set that cover back on the back side of the lawnmower because the string is still attached so now I'm going to remove the gas tank which slides up off of the body of the motor um, and then there's a hose that's connected to the carburetor so I just get a pair of pliers and pull that hose off. Now once I get the gas tank off, it's a good idea to get a sample of the gas uh, just to see if there's water in the gas tank. So now I'm actually removing the carburetor and there's two brackets. Um, that hold the carburetor on there and it's on each side of the carburetor and you have to spread those apart to pull the carburetor out and then once you get the carburetor out there's some rods that are connected so you'll have to disconnect those rods from the carburetor there you just saw me dump out all the fuel in the carburetor uh, so I can work on it on my workbench so now I have the carburetor sitting on the, the workbench and there's two bolts on the top of it that hold the carburetor together. So I'll just be removing those and then I'll be using a screwdriver to release that bottom cap uh, because the seal on that is a little bit tight. There's a o-ring in there and it's got a tight seal so that it won't leak or let in the air. There I'm taking off my ring because I'm getting fuel all over my hands and everything and I'll be getting carburetor cleaner. So I thought it would be a good idea to take my ring off. And uh, here's the carburetor and choke cleaner that I'm using for small engines. Um, I got that at my local hardware store. And uh, I'm just going to spray this whole thing down on the inside, the cap, get all the gunk out, any water that might be in there. Um, there's some portholes that I'll be spraying and, and cleaning out. Just want to make sure that you get this thing cleaned out really well. Get anything that's in the carburetor out of there. And then I'm just going to take a small wire for those holes to clean anything, any junk or anything that's inside of there. So I'm starting up my compressor, that way I can blow the whole carburetor out, make sure everything's dry, and get all the carburetor cleaner and anything else that might be stuck in there. Just blow everything out, make sure everything's completely dry. I can blow air into the fitting to make sure that this flap is working properly and it's not getting caught up, and that it has a good seal. 
So all that's left to do is to put everything back together, put the carburetor back in the lawnmower, and try and start this thing up. So I made a trip to the gas station and got some fuel. So I'm pouring brand new fuel in there. I'm going to check the oil, make sure that that's all good. I checked it before I started working on it, but just going to double check, make sure the oil's all good. And then we're going to fire this thing up. Alright, she runs again. If you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, stay safe.